What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic one time for the one time. We in the building talking about uh top five um boxers, you know, you know, pretty much current boxers. If there was only one weight, uh one world champion per weight class that wouldn't have won a world title. Now there's other boxers that you could have considered. Uh and this, these are just the five that I picked. I'm sure you could pick and pick I mean pick apart the list, but I'm just talking about uh just you know I put six, but it's kind of two to uh, to number five. You know, all in, you know, just the ones that I think uh, wouldn't have won a world title, wouldn't be a world titleist. Um, I know you can pick, you know, some of the guys like the Charlo Twins, Demetrius Andrade. Um, some people would consider maybe Timothy Bradley outside of 140. Um, some people would say Adrian Broner, but Timothy Bradley and Adrian Broner, you know, were the guys at that division at one point, 135 pounds. It was Broner. He did beat Antonio DeMarco, and he beat Jorge Linares for lineal. And Tim Bradley was dominant at 140 pounds, even beating, you know, Devin Alexander for that crown as well before Danny came on the scene. And I'll start off uh, just randomly. I'm not going to even put them in order. Um, the first guy I'm going to start off with is uh, Leo Santa Cruz. Definitely uh, believe that his 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 career is benefit is a, he's a beneficiary of, uh, you know, being, you know, having more than one uh, belt in the weight class. Uh, I don't think he's world championship material. You know, if it's only one one bet one belt, you know, I don't think he would be a world titleist. He'll be a, a top ten contender, you know, at most of the weight class he he fought, but he wouldn't be a world titleist, and that's just my opinion on that. Um, Deontay Wilder is another guy, is a beneficiary of uh, the belts being dispersed because Tyson Fury being stripped, and he got his belt shot. You know, I'm not sure that at this point in his career that you know he's the best heavyweight. You know, I know it's up for grabs with, you know, Joe Parker, Anthony Joshua, Luis Ortiz, you know. But, you know, at least, you know, Anthony Joshua did beat Vladimir Klitschko, you know, you know, for four belts, you know, for the simple fact that Tyson Fury wasn't in the equation. So Vladimir Klitschko was the next guy up. So I don't believe Deontay Wilder at this point in his career or Leo Santa Cruz at this point in their career uh, would have been world champions if it was only one belt class. And you can say that about a lot of guys, but I'm just talking about the most obvious. Um, those are, you know. 1A, 1B, you know, one to get together. Um, Sean Porter is another guy. I, I never seen him as a top tier welterweight. I think he's a, another beneficiary of it being more than one uh, belt. You know, as quick as he got his belt, as quick as he left. Um, I just never seen him being the best welterweight at the division ever. I don't see him beating the lead, even though people say he was close to beating Keith Thurman. He was close to beating Kell Brook. No cigar. He just, you know, at the end of the day, he just didn't cut it. You know, and um, I'm just keeping it real on that. Um, he's just not world title, uh, you know, in the world title championship material, you know, at the top tier level. I think he's a mid-tier level. You know, most guys moved up, you know, like Spence, pa Spence, Pacquiao, you know, Crawford, Mayweather. You know, then he's in that next category, and that's just my opinion on that. And then uh, talk about Carl Froch. Um, he's another guy. I never identify him as uh, uh, the best super middleweight. I understand that he beat uh, Pascal, and he was on the, on the scene. He got a... Uh, he started back up boxing late, but I just I just never seen him as the best super middleweight in the world. You know, I always considered, uh, you know, it was Cal Zaggy, then, you know, the Andre War era, the Super 6 era came on, and um, he was close. He was close, but he would he would never have been a world champion with Andre Ward still there. Maybe when Andre Ward left, but, um, you know, with him looming over the division, I never seen him as the elite. Now, if he fought in that... 168 pound division a day, maybe so, but I, I know some young guys that probably can run him out the uh, out the ring at this point. Even if he, even as even uh, even if he's at his top form, it's just my opinion. Um, George Groves um, next um, definitely had a hard time getting his world title. He worked for it, but basically it was strategically handed to him. Tried to be strategically handed to him by Badu Jack. He still couldn't cut it in. He's another guy that just comes up short. And if it was one belt, he's definitely wouldn't have, uh, won a world title. But he has some talent. At one point. In the first Carl Frotch fight, we thought that um, this kid could be the future of the division, you know. And uh, hearing reports that uh, Caleb Plant outboxed him 50 out of 50 rounds, <laughs> you know, just shows you why. And then Peter Quillen, he's another guy that never would have been a world titleist. You know, he, him and Deontay Wilder probably tops my list and Leo Santa Cruz, but he never would have been a world titleist if it was only one belt, you know, in division. You know, I, I don't even think he would... Uh, um, be in boxing too long because if it's only one belt then you have to literally legitimately fight the best you know get your title shot and he did give up his belt but you know that's a conversation for another day but um 
you know, I just don't see him being world championship material if it was one belt. And it's a lot of guys that if it was only one belt, you know, would have never been a world titleist at, you know, certain points of their career. And um, this is just my opinion on, on just, you know, six guys, even though when they won B, I, I, that I just think wouldn't have been world titles at this point of their career and how their careers continue to turn out. Um, it's tough, and it would make so much competition for, you know, guys to get a title. But at the end of the day, we gone.